name is Mason Paulus, and for my how-to video, I'll be going over how to use a pair of standard dial calipers. This is Common Kit and automotive shops, precision machining shops, and just standard industry in general. And this tool allows you to measure in thousandths of an inch. So first, you want to verify what kind of system your dial caliper is. There's metric, there's veneer, and then there's standard. So this is standard dial caliper because I live in America <laughs> and it has to be different and make everything really complicated. But so first, looking at our hash marks here, you can see there's a series of small numbers and then big numbers. So big numbers represent inches. So big one, one inch, two inch, three inch. And then if you look at the smaller numbers, in between the big numbers, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one inch. So this is telling us that there's nine divisions of one inch, or tenths of an inch. So this is our first clue of how to use this. So then the next part, so if you look at the dial, so watch closely and we'll do one revolution. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we've done one revolution and you can just barely see a tenth of an inch. So this is telling us that this dial is dividing a tenth of an inch into a hundred parts. Because if you count the lines, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, 100. So this is dividing a tenth of an inch into a hundred parts, making it a thousandth of an inch. So let's say we are a factory and we want to make these pants that is so happen to have in my hand. So if we look, all right, so one, two, three. So this is three tenths of an inch, 20, and then 21, 22, 23. So Imagine math in your mind here for a second. So 0.3, because that's in the tenths place. 0.323. Three. Right, let's do a different number. I'm just going to pick one at random here. So, so now, all right, we have a bunch of little numbers. So the easier way to get past this is, okay, big number. So three. So that's in the first place. So three... I can't read that. Six, three point six, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five. So three point six, one, five. Three point six one five. So that's the basics of how to use it. There's three ways to measure something with dial calipers. There is measuring OD, or outside diameter, with the big jaws of the pen. There is, uh, I grabbed some tape here. So this is roll electrical tape. There's ID with the smaller jaws. And then at the tail end of it, imagine I'm, mo I'm moving the jaws right now. This dial copper is too big for measuring the depth of something. So, thanks for watching.